Welcome back. Congress wants to give mining regulator MSHA more power to shut down mines with repeat safety violations, such as the Massey Energy coal mine in which 29 men died in an April 5th explosion. Massey's outspoken CEO, Don Blankenship, fired back in an exclusive interview yesterday. First of all, I think they're starting to trample on due process, which is very dangerous for a government. Uh, the people at MSHA are, in our opinion, lesser qualified than the people in the industry. So the assumption that the government and the people in the government, the inspectors, should be more and more empowered uh, is a questionable scenario to begin with. We need to make sure we get the right answers, not empower one side or the other. We're looking at the worst oil spill in U.S. history, right? And two weeks before that, there was a disaster at your upper big branch mine, which is known as the biggest coal industry disaster in 40 years. It's going to be a hard sell uh, to the public and to politicians, the idea that there shouldn't be greater regulation of energy right now. Yeah, I think it will be a tough sell. I think tragedies lead to more regulation. Far too often they lead <clears throat> to regulation that doesn't help the situation. That's what's happened in a number of tragedies. And hopefully we'll have some influence over what type of legislation gets passed and what types of processes are put in place because we truly need to be concerned about the environment and the people and not necessarily about being politically correct. Certainly there should be an independent uh, group that investigates accidents so because you're investigating both the behavior of people and the company employee as well as people at IMSHA. So <clears throat> since both entities, company and regulators are involved, <clears throat> excuse me, the regulations or the investigation should be independent. You would want a special body that would investigate in <coughs> you, you have that in the airline industry. I mean, the mm -hmm. FAA doesn't investigate uh, accidents. The you know, the National Safety Transportation Board or someone does. And you have a group in the mining industry called NIOSH, which is the National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health, mm -hmm. that has the technical arm of MSHA since they did away with Bureau of the Mines. But there are a lot of good things that could be done but it will not be the focus of the legislation in all likelihood. Do you think that the energy industry is treated differently than other commercial industries? Yes. Why? Uh, because it's large and because people think of it as a polluting industry rather than thinking about the positive parts that everyone enjoys the electricity and they enjoy the cars and they enjoy their computers and they fail to reflect on the fact that all that's made possible by energy. I know you're a very, very direct man. I mean, Massey's viewed as a, the face of dirty coal production if BP is viewed as the face of what's wrong with big oil. So be frank about what I mean. I can't, I can't Set the record that. straight if that's not the case. Well, it's not the case. Any, anything that you look at with Massey, uh, we fund our pension plans. Uh, we pay nearly $100 million a year to pay off liabilities that companies that went bankrupt in our industry before us on black lung excise tax and so forth. We're more creative in the area of safety than anybody in history. Uh, we have had more steady employment. Uh, we've reclaimed a lot of properties that others left unreclaimed. Uh, we do the best job in Central Appalachia. That's the reason that our stock had gone from eight dollars to fifty-four, and wherever it is now, twenty-eight. And we'll go back up as we move through these tragedies. But our size, our unwillingness to conform to union demands, and our unwillingness to be politically correct, some bring sometimes brings scrutiny, but it also brings safety. It brings energy. It brings jobs. It brings taxes to fund the schools. So that's what we do. Having led a company, you said you've, you've dealt with these kind of challenges before. Uh, you've been very much involved in crisis management. What do you make of BP's experience right now? What would you advise Tony Hayward? <laughs> I don't think I should be giving anyone advice on PR. <laughs> Don Blankenship, more of that uh, ahead on For the Record this evening, 9 p.m. Stay with us.